Hello. Uh, I want to show you what Rai is. I never really intended on publishing this, um, but there was some interest on it. And so I figured me recording a 10 minute video might be a time efficient way of explaining what it's about. Basically, Rai was an attempt of mine to build something like Cargo um, for Python. It's basically just a very simple wrapper around pip tools, pip, uh, virtual env, um, which also automatically downloads binary Python installations. And it's not something that I actively maintain. It's something that I use for myself. Um, so your mileage might vary, and it only runs on Mac and Linux. So how does it work? Uh, basically, after you have Rai installed, um, you can basically use it to manage, create Python projects. So I will make a very simple Python project here. If you run Rai in it, you'll basically end up with um, a very simple Python project. You can also say which um, Python version you want to use. And if you look into the Py project Tomo, you can see that it basically starts up empty. It only just fills in some defaults. Um, so let's make, um, let's add a dependency to it. So if I add a dependency, let's say I want to use Flask, um, I can afterwards run Ry sync, and this will create log files, which are basically just um, requirements txt files, um, and it will install the dependency. You also have noticed that it has already installed um, Python for us, because if I run Python here, I end up with um, a Python installation, um, which matches the one that I have pinned in this repository. So if I were to pin this now for 3.8, which is the Python I have installed, and I run Rai sync, you can see that it will, um, actually it turns out I did already install 3.8.2 on this machine. So it doesn't actually install anything um, from the internet. Um, but if I go into Python now, I can see it's 3.8. If I were to uh, wipe away one um, Python installation that I have already cached, let's say I want to kill, oh, actually I don't have 3.9 installed, so if I do write pin 3.9 and I run write sync, you can see that it, um, uh, well, it seems it's not printing the download. Um, but you can see that uh, I end up with 3.9 as well. So let's go back to um, 3.11, which is the newest, recreate this whole thing. And then I want to show you what else it can do. Um, they basically manages the virtual end for you in a way that uh, you never end up with additional crap. So if, um, if you were to run pip here, you will actually figure out that Rai cannot run pip. Um, the virtual end that it manages doesn't have pip. Um, so instead you always use this. Um, so let's say you want to use black. Um, if you were to add it as a regular dependency, it would always end up uh, being installed with your app. So um, you can add it as a dev dependency. This is a proprietary um, thing that I had to add because there are no dev dependencies. So it just puts it into this tool right section. Um, and so if you run this now, you end up with uh, black installed in this virtual env as well. The, um, you can work with this virtual env without enabling it because uh, Rai run will automatically expose all of those commands. So you can now run um, simple hello world, um, just run app. And so um, if I now run Rai black, Pi, I run black pi, um, it will reformat this. All right. Um, if I don't want this anymore, I could say Rai remove um, def black. And next time I run Rai sync, you will see that the black um, command disappears. And I don't have black anymore. Uh, what else can I do? Um, what it's somewhat useful for is managing monorepos. So if you, for instance, have, um, uh, let's say, hello support, which is a support library, and you want to say right in it, 
Um, now I have a support library here. And let's say it has one Python module called hello support, which just has a function get greeting, which says hello from support. Um, I can, in the top level of PyProjectTomer, say that this is a workspace. Um, and all the members are in this um, folder. So if you now run Rise show, you can see that this workspace has uh, the Hello World library and the Hello Support library. And so if I now go to my PyProjectTomer of my root, and I just add my hello support as a dependency without any sort of marker, and I run rise sync, then it will actually install the entire workspace for me, which has the consequence that I can now, when well, it's done doing that, um, import the sub dependencies too. So um, I can do I can just do little more Python. So I can obviously import my hello. Uh, which is the app that we just created, but I can also import my hello support, um, which is from the hello support uh, module, which also then means that I can um, say from hello support, import get greeting, and instead of doing this, I return get greeting, um, and it would work too. Um, obviously, the module here um, can have um, extra dependencies. So we could say, uh, uh, well, I don't know what you would want to install here. Um, let's just install Django here too, because why not? And if I now run Rise Sync, um, you can see that we'll install Django. Which might. Again, take a little bit of time because the underlying system that it uses is pip compile, which um, it doesn't speed up that process anything in any way. And so if I do run arise show um, installed steps, we can see what it has installed. Um, you can see Django is being added here. Um, this is more or less what Rai does for projects. It doesn't do much more than that. Um, one thing that it does in addition is it manages top level tools. So if I do run write install, I can for install install um let's say PyCause. And this will install PyCause into um a top level uh, shim. And it will manage um a virtual end for this. So you can see that it has a tools virtual app specifically just for this tool. And I can say pip um, write install pycause and it's gone. Um, yeah, if you're interested in any way, um, it's on my GitHub on github.com slash Mitsuhiko slash Rye. I'm not sure if I will maintain this. Um, I'm kind of hoping that this shows what could be um, and inspire some people to maybe build something of that nature um, for Python. Thank you very much.